good morning students in this video we will discuss about normalization okay then you can ask me sir long back you have started the normalization but now you are teaching what is actually various types of normalization all these things but whatever the topics i have discussed in between they are required for you to understand all the different types of normalizations so now come to the various types of normalization we have six types of normalization the first one is the first normal form in shortcut we'll call it as 1nf second normal form we'll call it as a 2nf third normal form bcnf is for boy chord normal form we have 4nf and 5nf in the videos lectures i will give more emphasis on 1nf 2nf 3nf and bcnf you can ask me why sir why you have not given emphasis on 4nf and 5nf means for the date exam or ugc net exam or any competitive exams they the syllabus will be up to bcnf even some universities syllabus will be up to bcnf only so i will give more emphasis on up to bcnf i will discuss each normal form in detail we will solve few numerical questions and also i will solve gate previous year questions related to this four normal forms coming to the 4nf and 5nf i will teach one day but when i will teach is that let me complete all the videos related to dbms because a lot of students are asking me sir please upload the videos as early as possible because we are really liking your teaching so first let me complete the all the videos related to dbms then i will upload about the 4nf and 5nf but i will promise you that i will teach you 4nf and 5nf don't worry okay so come to the first normal form the first normal form says that the relation should not consist of multi valued attribute usually the relation consists of various types of attributes one is simple attributes composite attributes single valued attributes multi valued attributes stored attributes derived attributes all these different types of attributes i have discussed in earlier videos if you have not gone through these videos i request you to go through those videos and come back to this one so now what is the single valued attributes multi valued attributes if any attribute is there if it consists of only one possible value that attribute we will call it as a single valued attribute so let's take the simple example let's take my yes yes is an attribute and yes will have only single value it will not consist of multiple value either if it is a bollywood heroines or heroines they may have different types of different yeses in website they will have one yes in the press meet they will say another yes so all these different ages but normally humans will have only one age so i can say that it is a single valued attribute where the example is yes now come to the what is a multi valued attributes let's me take the phone number nowadays each person will have different phone numbers one is for calling to them and one is for whatsapp all these things so because nowadays all the phones have the capability of dual sims so if i take the phone number it is a multi valued attribute because one person can have multiple phone numbers so i can the best example for multi valued attributes is phone number now what the first normal form says that it does not allow multi valued attributes then sir the relation is having now if you take this relation this relation is having multi valued attributes then i can say that it is not in the first normal form but remember one thing by default all the relations are in one normal form how it is that this is not a proper relation why it so that because it is having a multi valued attributes so how can we decompose this relation into multi into a, a sub relation such a way that each relation is in one and of we'll discuss but remember one thing this is not a proper relation by default all the tables in the relay in the dbms will be in the first normal form anyway let me discuss how i will make it now this relation i have decomposed into two relations called as t1 and t2 the first relation will consists of sid and s name sid and s name 1 a 2 b now if what is this sid student id student name usually the roll number will be the key attribute for a student table because using the roll number i can uniquely identify any student in the class so student id will be the key attribute or a primary key if it is a relation when i am talking in a relation algebra i will call sid is a key when i am talking about sql i will call this sid as a primary key okay 
now we have a phone number i cannot keep directly so what i will do i will keep the phone number as a separate column consists of p1 p2 p3 p4 okay and the primary key of the table one will act as a foreign key in the student id so here sid will be the foreign key so if you see the row number one having phone number one and phone number two so one p1 one p2 then row number two having two phone numbers p3 and p4 so i have written two and p3 and p4 now if you see that it is having single valid attribute so i can say that this relation is in one and enough and even this relation is also in one and enough so what i want to say that if a relation should be in one and enough it should not consist of multi valued attributes i hope you have understood what are the different types of normalizations or normal forms and about the one and enough in the next video i will discuss about second normal form okay i hope you are understanding all the concepts what i am discussing in the earlier videos if you have any doubts please ask the doubts in the comment section so that i can clear your doubts and i request everyone to share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you so much